The views and opinions expressed in the following program are those of the hosts and guests, and not necessarily those of the staff or management of Worldwide Digital Broadcasting Corporation. Whether she's walking the red carpet or doing interviews, you'll find her with celebrities and all the latest news. She's here, she's there, she's everywhere, she's always on the go. So sit back, relax, and get ready. This is the Corey Taylor Talk. Everybody and welcome to Corey Taylor Talks live from Las Vegas, the number one teen talk show. I am excited for my guest today because I mean we were just talking about it. This might be actually the tenth time, which is insane, <laughs> that he's been on the show. So little Rook, so how have you been, little Rook? I've been great. How are you? <laughs> I've been great. I mean, I see that you've been kicking butt and taking names. So for Thank some you. of our newer listeners or um, or just new people. Uh, what have uh, what have you been up to? Tell a little bit about yourself and what you do, because you're really awesome. I'm Little Rook. I'm 19. I have a full studio album, and I just go back and forth to L.A., to Vegas, just do tons of shows, everything I could do to throw my tag around and make the world a better place and bring people together and... Let's see where it goes. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. I'd, I'd like to point out that we're kind of matching, too. Yeah, we are. <laughs> My lovely producer, John, pointed that out. So there we go. So it's meant to be, right? <laughs> thank you. Always. Thank you. <laughs> um, so now, how did you actually uh, start uh, singing and rapping and everything? How did you actually get involved in that? I think my mom just played a lot of uh, rock music growing up, like, um, you know, uh, Metallica and... Uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers yeah. and No Doubt and I kind of just sang it and sang it as I was very small and then I grew up to want to be a big singer. There you go. <laughs> just influenced by my parents' music and then eventually I went to pop. Yeah, so 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 um, I was gonna say that's kind of interesting. You're raised on like the heavy metal rock uh -huh. and then you went, that's funny, but that's cool. So yeah. do you like, uh, do you like more how like um, more passionate it is and stuff or like what draws you to like hip hop and stuff like that. What draws um, you to that? I don't know. I just think that's where I like went to. I don't know. Somehow I just wanted to be pop singer because pop or hip hop can be so many different genres. You can right. add to it and make it all sorts of different things. So maybe one day I'll do like a Stephen King thing and change my <laughs> my author name and do a rock right. band. Okay. <laughs> That'd be cool. <laughs> That'd be exciting. <laughs> Richard Bachman. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> no, um, no, I think it's cool, and um, I think it's important when people have different music tastes and stuff. And I like, I like, I go from musicals to rock to pop yeah. to everything. So I understand, but that's cool. Thank and you. Um, so I, I, one of the really cool things about you, and that I always admire about you, is that uh, you're a huge uh, advocate for anti-bullying and stuff. So why don't yes, you talk a little bit about that? I just, I always got bullied, you know, my whole story. I've um, got bullied my whole life for, you know, things I shouldn't have been bullied for, for maybe following my dream, making music, and um, I wanted to stand up for myself and what I did to kill the pain and the sorrow and what all the people were saying to me was to make music. So and then I turned it around on the haters and I made something good out of what they told me and brought me down and um so i shed into my skin and i just um made music and now i want to help people that go through that with my music and with following my dream and maybe they can follow in the footsteps to go through all the hatred and you know i want to save lives because a lot of people are they hurt themselves over it and they they shouldn't it's right. you know you, you have to keep going in the world i mean there's, it's not our fault that there's so much hate and there's so much evil. We just have to get through it. Uh, well, you know, I always say I don't care who you are. I don't care how perfect you are, how rich you are, how beautiful, mm -hmm. how talented. Everyone, I truly believe in my heart and soul, has been bullied in some way or another. Now, yes. that doesn't just right. mean pe uh, kids picking on you. It could be bullying from your parents, bullying from teachers, bullying from anyone. It really uh, Online bullying is gigantic Huge. now. Mm -hmm. And um, I really think every single person has gone through bullying, and um, it's a horrible, horrible thing. And there should be 
absolutely no reason for it. Um, yeah. But it's just, gosh, it's like a disease. It's horrible. Mm-hmm. And uh, unfortunately, I don't think it will ever be completely gone. But I think it's important that people do talk about it and show that there are people out there like you, mm-hmm. like me, and a million other people out there that are here for you and understand because we have mm-hmm. all been through it. That you're not alone. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And there's so many positive, good people out there Absolutely. that are there for you. And um, you really just have to try and get away from the negative and it's easier said than done but you can't listen to it because something has to be wrong in their life or Mm -hmm. they're obviously not happy about their life if they had to pick on you and uh, bring you down because that means they're a negative person and there's negative stuff going on in their life so don't let them bring down your positivity and I really believe that and um, it's a horrible thing it's an epidemic but uh, just Go with yourself and believe mm-hmm. in yourself. Exactly. And hold on to the ride. <laughs> yeah. Hold and on. you know, um, I do want to talk about the. Have you seen um, Thirteen Reasons Why? Mm-mm, no. Oh, you haven't. I don't watch much of TV. Oh goodness. <laughs> I'm a weird person. You have to watch it. Okay, I was gonna say, uh, wow, that'd be a perfect show. It's about. Um, now I'm gonna watch it because Corey told me about yeah, it. <laughs> it's a really good show, and uh, it's an important thing, and it's about anti-bullying and all that, and uh, wow. suicide prevention and suicide awareness and stuff. And um, even I think school shootings, it's gonna bring up next season, and it's mm. a. It's a really important show, and I think it's wow. helping a lot of teens, too. Mm-hmm. So. But, yeah, wow. so I think um, people like you are making a difference in this world and showing that it's good to be positive. Yeah, and follow your dream no matter what. Yeah, always follow your dream. You cannot let people bring you down. You can't let them win. You can't let the devil win. You can't right. let – you just can't let it win. Mm-hmm. No, it's true. You can't let them win. So keep going and – see what could happen there you go (laughs) (laughs) and so Adam um I know uh you've been doing a lot of stuff and you've been super busy lately and you've been performing here and there but uh, trying (laughs) yes I know it's difficult but you know you're uh you keep pursuing your dream exactly like you said and um and you're doing great and you have so many followers that are so supportive of you so that's really really cool they're amazing yeah you should be so proud of and I've helped a lot of people told me how they've gotten bullied and how they've gotten cyber bullied and their, what their home lives are like and um, when they listen to my music and they have told me how I help them and mentor them through my music and my entertainment how I'm they've seen what I've been through on the internet mm-hmm. and it makes them feel better so I'm I'm really blessed that God's putting me in a position to help people through my music absolutely so why don't you uh, talk a little bit about the Stay Strong campaign like what do you actually do with it um, I was actually on uh, Channel 8 News um, about three months ago maybe two months I don't know <laughs> it goes by so fast right. but um, they uh, interviewed me about what I've been through you know I actually had to drop out of uh, my daytime school um, because the bullying got so bad mm-hmm. I couldn't even deal with it I had to leave for my safety mm-hmm. they called me up to the office because I had haters on Twitter I didn't even know about and saying they wanted me to kill myself so mm-hmm. You know, I got called up for help all the time, you know, so I was sick of it. So I went to night school, and night school was so much better my senior year and got me through it. So I I told them a little bit about my story, and um, they put the hashtag on there and how um, we I'm helping people with my music, you know. And um, all the pain and the sorrow that I went through, how I turned it around and made it such a positive thing on the Internet because... I've seen so much hate on the Mm -hmm. internet, hate, and I wanted people to make hashtag stay strong what made them feel like they stayed strong or what their story was so they can inspire people like I inspired people. So it was just something (laughs) that needed to happen. Yeah, that's awesome. And you even, uh, you wrote a song too, if I'm not mistaken. (laughs) So why don't you uh, talk about the song a little bit? Because it's a really beautiful song. Thank you. It's your favorite, right? That's right. (laughs) Stay Strong. um, I wrote that in a dark point in my life when I was being bullied. and Well, I still am bullied, but (laughs) I wrote that when I, you know, was struggling and some angels around me, I think I've already said this before, um, just grabbed the pen out of my hand and wrote this incredible positive rap song. And I rapped it, I took it to the studio and I rapped it and um, it helps a lot of people to stay away from the negativity and be positive in life and 
It doesn't matter if you have a fancy car, you are who you are. It doesn't matter who you are, you know, black, white, Mexican, it just, everybody has a right to stay strong and follow their dreams and continue on a positive road. Yeah, well, everyone's a human being, and mm -hmm. I think we just need to treat each other like human beings and follow the old golden rule, yeah. treat yourself, or treat other people the way you want to be treated. Yeah. And, um, you know, I even, mm -hmm. I just started a job recently, and uh, even there, there's, I, there's like, yeah. workplace bullying, and I always talked about it, and now I'm yeah. actually living it, and it's, it's insanity. It's true. And um, you never are going to escape it, unfortunately, but there's so many positive people out there that you can surround yourself with that you don't even really pay attention to it, and you just get through it, and, yeah. um, and it, you'll overcome all the haters and all the negative people out there and you'll be the one on top and they'll be the ones sitting there looking at you <laughs> mad <laughs> so, yeah. and that's all that it's really true. matters and uh, you really You're do right. need to realize that so mm -hmm. absolutely so, good wins over evil absolutely all the time yeah all the time <laughs> um but why don't we actually uh play uh stay strong oh cool and uh <laughs> yeah and then we'll go into a commercial break and then we'll come back and talk more with adam so stick around <laughs> Correct. New a single. And so why don't you talk a little bit about Hey Girl? 
Hey girl. <laughs> well, it's a heartbreak song about okay. a relationship. I'm not gonna say anything. Right. <laughs> but um, I felt like I've been hit by a train. You know, I felt really upset to that song, and um, she cheated on me. She did bad, and um, I wrote a song about it. <laughs> And I said she's going to get her payback, and how she treated me was terrible. Yeah. There you <laughs> go. <laughs> now, um, so how long uh, would you say, because I'm always interested, and in, uh, so many people have so many different answers every time I ask this, but how long would you say it actually takes you to write a song, <sighs> and then once you're done writing it, how to produce it and everything? Uh, I f the writing process is so easy for me. Really? Because I just sit there with a, you know, piece of paper and I just write and write all these different things and I put them together or if it's of how I felt about something bad in my life, I would sit there and write and that's how I would get rid of the tears. <laughs> that's how I would get rid of the pain. I would write and take that pen and just write, write, write. And the process of getting to the studio is... Oh, it takes years <laughs> well, really? to write to record that song hey girl it took a long time it, I was mm. in there for hours and hours a day wow. and it was maybe five weeks oh my god well one day a week <laughs> <It's so. laughs> it that's is, crazy yeah it's hard I never, you got to uh, make the beat, and you have to make the beat right, right. and then you got to do this so and, you create the music then too yeah yourself? Cool. Tell them how I want it to sound, and then it's hard. You fight back and forth with them. I want it to sound this way. <laughs> no. Yeah, no, but you, you uh, if it's uh, if you're if it's your baby, you're gonna be. Uh, yeah. You want it as perfect as possible. That's so, true. Yeah. I but, saved um, my money to death, and right. I recorded this song, so it's all me. And when it was done, I felt so proud of myself that yeah. I saved my money. I got into the studio myself. I composed my own song I wrote my own song so it feels good and now the hard part is to get it out there All right your creation <laughs> oh it is and it's difficult and but um you you know you do have a lot of uh, really loyal s fans and support They're base amazing. everything and um that's I really love cool. them they all. do help us by the <laughs> word for it and you just performed at Venice Beach too if I'm not yes, mistaken I did. right mm -hmm. it was my second year on Venice Beach and it was it's Oh, gets me so sweaty that I jump in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was so hot this year. I don't know if it was yeah. global warming or what, but it was hotter than last year. <laughs> uh, you know what? Global warming. warming oh, I can't say it. Global warming <laughs> is real because it, it is. It's so hot. And then, it is. then we have this stupid <laughs> rain and flash flood <laughs> warnings. I don't know. It's insane. <laughs> But it's cool. I like living in Vegas. Do you, so yeah. you go back from Vegas to LA a lot too, yeah. I'm sure. Right? And I admire living here because there's less traffic, mm -hmm. less aliens as people. <laughs> <Wait>. <laughs> there's a lot of aliens out there in Hollywood and Los Angeles. Like aliens? I mean, I like love Los sky? Angeles. Or no, like, just like fake people. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's just it's hard to get around. Okay, is that your nickname for like fake people? Yeah, it's okay. aliens. Yeah, okay, I got you. I got it's you. It's good for a minute. There's cool people there, of course, but then there's a lot of people that want to bring you down, right. make you a boulevard person, and that will never be me. Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, now it's. Uh, it's a very uh, tough uh, world out there in Hollywood, it is. but you know, um, it really, Vegas is great because um, it's just start. It's just starting to get big, it and it is. And there's so many people out here who are so creative, and mm -hmm. there's a huge music community, huge Tons. film community, huge art community. And I don't think a lot of people even realize that. Mm -hmm. I don't even it's people true. think people really realize that people live in Vegas, and it's yeah. an actual community and stuff and a huge community but um uh there's so many uh creative outlets and stuff and it's great but there is still that competition and it's just crazy to me because we're all just trying to make mm -hmm. it and trying to do what we love <clears throat> and doing what we want for a passion but yeah. it's so horrible people just and everything they have yeah. to bring it down but uh, I've been lucky enough for the film community at least and the radios and everything to find yeah. positive people exactly who, 
Uh, we do. We work together, and it's great. But there's always going to be those negative people. But I don't think they're ever going to be successful in life either. So, but I feel like I go LA down this road, too, and then yeah. I get on your show, and it's so much better. <laughs> Thank you. No, but I'm sure in LA it's absolutely ridiculous. And I've been there a few times, and uh, for stuff, and it is. You realize it's a very different world. Different out there. world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's tough. It's all. It's always um, what can you do for me, and not like. Yeah. Let's just work together. It's mm -hmm. what can you do for me? But people are so cold. Yeah, but you know what? You are <laughs> very talented and successful, and you're doing Thank what you, you love, and that's all that Absolutely. really matters. And you will make it, and you're uh, hugely successful already. Oh. So that's awesome. Thank you. So, what advice Thank do you, you have uh, for people that are trying? To make it into the music business and stuff, because like we were just saying, it's very difficult. What advice do you have? Um, keep evolving and never look back. Yeah. <laughs> never like, look oh, back. Keep going. I will say too, we were just talking about your evolution from right. being on my show to now you have blonde hair. Yeah. So you it's like cool. it? Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> it's cool. I'm. I feel like a different person every time I'm on your show. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. But yeah, I just, I get bored really, really easily. <laughs> <laughs> so I just, I'm thinking about, I dyed it black. I dyed it, I'm probably going to dye it all blonde one day. Okay. And then I'll go back again. Yeah, I always uh, thought <laughs> I would be want to do blonde one day, and then I wore a blonde wig for a movie, and I was like, oh, oh that's that. not going to happen. So. <laughs> that looked good. You have a good oh, face, so you can do you. anything. You can be bald if you want to. <laughs> oh, thank you. I appreciate <laughs> it. But, um. But no, that's cool, and I like your hair. And have you ever thought of like dyeing it multi colors and stuff I'm like that? I'm thinking about or? white. White? Yeah, okay. maybe white. Right, that's cool. Maybe like a David Bowie orange. Mm. Who knows? <laughs> That'd be cool. Let's see what goes. Maybe dreadlocks one day. <laughs> you should talk to my mom. My mom loves dreadlocks. Oh, really? So we do. <laughs> That'll be perfect. <laughs> one day. One day. Um, but no. Uh, so yeah, and, um, where can people uh, follow you and keep up to date with you? Because you're doing so many amazing things all the time. So where can people keep Thank up to you. date with you? Um, they could just search Little Rook, L-I-L-R-H-E-U-K, on iTunes, on Google Play. On Facebook, it's Adam Core, A-D-A-M-K-U-E-H-R. And they can keep up to date. And I'm on Snapchat, little underscore Rook. And then they can really keep up to date because I... <laughs> post everything on there every five minutes oh, that's good. <laughs> so easy you know just I'm, bad with posting. Everything. I'm bad uh, with posting but that's good that you are no. posting it. oh i'm horrible i don't ever post but <laughs> well you have a lot of supporters too oh thank you there's like millions <laughs> of comments on your stuff <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's the cool. best teens in las vegas that's right <laughs> i'm just that's kidding no. right that, i like no. that thank you <laughs> I'm sure there's so much more teens that are great. <laughs> I'm oh, yeah. trying to say we're the best, but... <laughs> but we kind of are. You can't yeah, argue with that. <laughs> but no, you know, and there's so many uh, young people out there who are doing amazing things in Times, this world. Yeah. Uh, and I just realized that I'm not going to be a teenager <laughs> in a few months. I just had this epiphany oh. a little while ago. I had this epiphany, and I was like, oh, my God, I'm going to be 20 soon. So. I feel it. I'm sad, too. I feel very old. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> it is weird. Yeah. And now our parents are so scared for us to drive <laughs> and go in the world. Yeah, well, actually, Ugh. you know, I will have to say, too, <laughs> thank you guys uh, for being so nice with that. I got in an uh, accident. It was a hit and run. Mm. Um I was fine, uh, the other person was fine, um, but it, the guy who left, I don't know how he is, I'm sure he's fine though, because he sure did leave the scene. But um, <laughs> I'm sure. But uh, my car Jeez. was totaled, but um, everything's good now, and thank you guys for being supportive with that too, because I got mm. a lot of really uh, positive things with that, so I want to thank you guys too for being well, so kind you have angels that. surrounding you. That's right. <laughs> That's no. For sure. Yeah. So. Absolutely, but thank you so much for being <laughs> on again, you. and you're great as always. Everyone, <laughs> please go follow him. Keep up to date with everything he's doing, and um, and now we're going to play "Stay Strong." Correct? Stay strong. That's right, and uh, I love this song. It's so good. It's so positive. It's perfect for the show, even because that's what we try to do. So thank you guys so so much for watching. Remember, never give up. Always believe, and you'll achieve. Thank you, and God bless.
Stay strong. I want you to stay. 